In this video, we are going to do a quick revision on how to find the area of regular shape. What are area then? Area is the amount of space within a two-dimensional shape. The unit for area, including the surface area, is always unit squared. For example, kilometer squared, meter squared, and so on. The area of a closed figure is the number of square units it enclosed. So for example, if we have a rectangle, okay, it's four, the length is four and the width is three. To calculate the area, it's always length times width. So length is four, width is three, you multiply them together and you get 12 centimeters squared. In other words, if you count the number, you break them down into one centimeter square, if you count the number of square, they are all together 12 square units in a rectangle of length four centimeter by three centimeter. Similarly, in a square three centimeter by three centimeter, the formula to calculate area is length times length. So three times three is going to be nine. Or if you count the number of square, they are all together nine square units in the diagram there. Okay, now we are going to look at triangle. Triangle is quite interesting. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. It's always the base multiplied by the perpendicular height and you divide by two. So for example, in this triangle, the base is 10 and the perpendicular height, which is 90 degrees to the base is 6.8. So to calculate the area, you take 10 times 6.8 and then you divide by two and the answer is going to be 34 centimeters squared. On the other hand, if you have the area that looks like that, the base is slightly different now. The base is not five, the base is only three because this part is three. If you calculate five, you are calculating the whole triangle, okay? So the base is three, the height is this perpendicular height, it must be 90 degrees times five divided by two and the answer is going to be 7.5 centimeters squared. Okay, now we look at area of uh, parallelogram and a trapezium. The difference between a parallelogram and a trapezium is that a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. So this and this are parallel, here and here are parallel. While a trapezium has only one set of parallel lines. So we shall look at the area of a parallelogram. The area of parallelogram is simple, base times perpendicular height. If the base is 10, so the base is 10 and the height is 6. So 6 times 10 is going to be 60 meter squared. Okay, the trapezium is the area which confuses a lot of people. You have only one pair of parallel side. The area to calculate the area of trapezium is going to be A plus B divided by 2 times perpendicular height. A plus B, A and B are the parallel side. So in our case, the parallel side is 4 and 6. So what you do, you take 4 plus 6 divided by 2, the average of the two parallel side times the height. The height is 3. So what happens is that 4 plus 6 is 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5, 5 times 3 and the answer is going to be 15 centimeter squared. Okay, last but not least we're going to calculate the area of a circle. The area of circle, uh, a lot of boys, a lot of people get confused between area and circumference and we are going to get it done today, okay? The area of a circle is pi times radius times radius or pi r squared. Then you can't use the diameter to calculate the area of circle. So please remember the area of a circle is pi times radius times radius. So if a circle is given the diameter is 10 centimeter, you have to convert the diameter to radius, which is half of the diameter, which is five centimeter. So to calculate the area is pi, Time radius, time radius. If the radius is 5, you just multiply by 5 and 5 twice and the answer is 25 pi. And if you put in your calculator, the answer is going to come up with 78.54 centimeter squared. So that is how you calculate the area of regular shape. So we have learned how to calculate the area of rectangle, square, triangle, parallelogram, trapezium and last but not least circle. So have a good day and see you soon.